Welcome back. The Golden Globes Award Show is perhaps one of the more relaxed in Hollywood. But does that mean the stars are more relaxed about their style? We want to know. So we brought in the two best local opinions we have. Ryan Jay is the fashion police for Us Weekly Magazine. And Faye Wetzel owns two beautiful fashion boutiques here in the Milwaukee area and has great style herself. So thanks both of you so much for being here. We wouldn't miss it. I love talking <laughs> about this stuff. Okay, so as we get to the first actress, I'm going to let Ryan Jay say her name because he pronounces it so much better than I do. She is Lupita Nyong'o, and she is the supporting actress in 12 Years a Slave. Okay, so let's take a look at her. Tell us what you liked or didn't like about what she was wearing on the red carpet last night at the Golden well, Globes. Last night she was wearing, I think, the color of the night in addition to sparkle, which was yeah. red, and she was in Ralph Lauren. And I love this because if there's a cape, she's having sort of an iconic superhero moment, and she looks stunning. I think it's very elegant. It's very it's elegant, Oscar worthy. But what I said is, she carried this dress off. Now, you put that dress on Tina Fey, and we've got trouble, <laughs> right. right? But I mean, this, yeah. this young woman who just graduated from Yale Drama School, can you believe that? That's unbelievable. The presence, the poise in this young woman, I mean, she is stunning. She really is. She's a beautiful, beautiful woman, and that dress, I think, is amazing because it's the one that we're all agreeing on. Usually, you know, we walk away the morning after these awards shows, and we all have a different best dress, but mm -hmm. I think this is the one where we're all just like the next morning, that's the dress. No, you guys okay with the fact that she didn't have a lot of accessories, not a big necklace, not big earrings? They never have a lot of accessories, and you said that that's sort of a thing. That is. I don't get that. It's sort of, what's, well, what's interesting is I feel like last night kind of went more in the direction of Faye, you know, which is, they, they, I saw more neck necklaces last night than we tend to see on the red carpet. But mm -hmm. yeah, as, an, as a general rule, necklaces are a no-no, but we do see statement bracelets and rings and earrings mm -hmm. and, you know, the jewels that they have the security guards guarding. But last night we saw a couple more necklaces and stuff. And I thought that eyelashes are the new necklace. Ooh, That's nice. what I decided. Oh, I like everybody's that. eyelashes were like <laughs> gorgeous. Like yeah. baba yeah. boom. <laughs> okay, moving on to our next actress then, um, Margot Robbie. Right, and she is uh, Leonardo DiCaprio's co-star in The Wolf of Wall Street, which mm -hmm. Faye just saw mm -hmm. and loved. Loved, right? loved, loved yeah. it. Yeah. And she's in Gucci. Okay, I love this. I love this. I think she looks pretty fantastic. much quintessential Gucci. I mean, you could mm -hmm. pick that one out. Hollywood glamour. I thought it was really, really pretty. What I love best about this is she's wearing the low neckline, which is iconic of American Hustle, which is so hot right now. Amy Adams mm -hmm. also worked it, but when Amy Adams wore it, it looked like it was a knockoff or a, from the costumes she wore in the film. This mm -hmm. looks like an updated, modern version of that American Hustle really look. Really pretty. Almost mm -hmm. a Grecian. Really. Mm -hmm. And I loved that this, you know, the the detail was sort of deconstructed, kind of salvagey, mm -hmm. you know. Uh -huh. It, it looks sort of distressed, Very pretty. which just looked really, I think, modern. I thought she looked beautiful. She was like in my top three. Oh, you I guys, I thought she was a huge disappointment. Doesn't she even do her own designs? <laughs> she got the memo about the sparkle, so she got the swath of fabric, but I just thought it was shapeless. She could look spectacular, and I just, wow, I was really disappointed. I love, I, and I loved her clean hair, I loved her clean face. I think I she know. looks pretty too. It's hard, you know, when, when you're the plus size model, mm -hmm. you know, like uh, Lena Dunham, who was a major miss last night, it's like, you know, Melissa McCarthy shows how you can, I think, dress mm -hmm. for size appropriate. I feel like we're gonna disagree about Jennifer Lawrence a little bit. Um, I actually thought she looked beautiful, fresh, and I thought the, the black detail, I don't know what you call it, not a belt or whatever, but I thought it kind of broke it up in kind of a cool way because there was a lot of black and white last night. A lot of black and white. I did not like this dress at all. And, Why? And because it looks like she's wearing depends. Yeah, I could. Yeah, thank you. Hello. <laughs> yeah. Is she, does she have a diaper on her there? <laughs> What's going on? And the other thing is, I thought she looked really uncomfortable in that yeah. dress. If she would have owned that dress, mm -hmm. it might have been a different story. And she was the one to watch last night. Exactly. Everyone, yes. uh, you know, on the mm -hmm. e red carpet and NBC was like waiting and salivating to see what Jenny Lawrence was going to wear, and mm -hmm. that was. I See, I thought it was nice. Really? I, I thought oh. it looked like a, a very expensive, classy wedding cake, but I thought she looked like <laughs> she felt cake. comfortable mm -hmm. in it. Mm -hmm. I well, really, so it was just funny. I'm like, wow, really? Yeah. Yeah. Loved her hair. Mm -hmm. Yeah, loved I liked hair. her hair too. Loved the short hair. I mean, if you didn't have the short hair, you had the side ponytail. Mm -hmm. Right. And that was all that right. was allowed. Mm -hmm. There was no other hair. Yeah, you're, mm -hmm. you're right. I mean, mm -hmm. there was kind of a uniform as it relates to the hair. What about Emma Watson? I loved Emma Watson. I mean, first of all, it's Hermione from Harry Potter, so what's not to love? And she's amazing, and it's cool because she had pants on, and she's just edgy enough that she could. She's wearing Dior, mm -hmm. 
And look at that. I, I mean, thought it was so cool. So cool. Did you? That's interesting. I loved you know, it. I was like, really? But then my youngest staff member, my fashionista, they were sort of tweeting all night and, you know, um, she loved this. Mm -hmm. So I thought, you know, well, that's great. It's young. It's forward. It's so yeah. low. Yeah. There you go. Mm -hmm. Okay. It was a like pretty it? color. That. <laughs> Danny trying to, to be it was a nice vibrant red. Mm -hmm. Now, Amy Adams. Speaking of red, mm -hmm. I thought the two-tone red. If I don't know if you if you call that with kind of like the cranberry and then the more fiery red. I thought it was kind of a cool color combination. How about how she wore this dress? What do you think? Color blocking. Okay, mm -hmm. a big deal. Mm -hmm. um, I liked this dress, but there's something about her decolletage that's just not working for me. I would take a little bit of that money that she's making and do mm -hmm. some stuff for her. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you get my drift. <laughs> I think she's pretty. It just looks like it's a costume, you know, reject from Absolutely. American Hustle. It looks oh. like she took it off the American Hustle mm -hmm. movie set. It, Kate Blanchett is, was interesting last night because I think she's a beautiful woman. I thought this dress did nothing for her. I know lace from head to toe is really in. The back of this yeah, dress was Yeah, Blanchett got back. Was yeah, like, exactly. Immediately that, came that, out that's, of that's what won this dress for me. And she's just so great that, like, you know, Almost anything she does is cool. Yeah, the front is unpleasant, but when you, she turns around, it's a staggering, really stunning cutout. Mm -hmm. Sandy, you and I are going to be able to go nowhere together because this, <laughs> this is like my favorite dress. Mm -hmm. I loved this dress. Mm -hmm. And Kate Blanchett normally wears something kind of surreal, mm -hmm. so this was a little safe for her. Yeah. But I thought it was so beautiful. Faye, I can and see you in this dress. I know. I love, well, that's <laughs> right. I would wear this dress. And that cap sleeve thing, too, was happening a little bit last night. Did you notice that? Mm -hmm. Just kind of the the you know top mm -hmm. of the shoulder I, I love the dress very pretty. Okay. We can go anywhere together. It means we won't wear the same dress. <laughs> this is a yeah. good thing. True. Sandra Bullock had sort of that color blocking effect going on that you mentioned. Did oh you boy. like it? Did it work for you? Was it, it a little looks too much like gravity? Spumoni. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. I mean, what's with the three colors there? And we all mm -hmm. love Sandy B, mm -hmm. but it's like that's a little much. Yeah, I was I was really disappointed. When I saw it, Ryan and I both said this. When I saw it at the run up to the show, and they just showed her from the waist up, I loved this dress, mm -hmm. and I thought she looked beautiful in it. When I saw the whole dress, that's. Where it just felt mm -hmm. I totally agree. I felt the same way. Yeah. I saw the, the blue I'm like, ooh, I want to see the rest of it. And it's like, whoa. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. I don't. Yeah. No, I don't. Zoe Saldana, you. This dress gave drove me nuts last night. I hate this dress. I call it the Frankenstein dress. <laughs> yeah. I feel like it's um it's like a sort of bad project runway challenge gone wrong. Yes. You yes. know, just too much of everything. This, too much this, going there's on. There's no pattern. And, yeah, like, there's four patterns. It's the same together. designer mm -hmm. as the one that did Sandra Bullock. It's uh, Prabel Garung. And I feel like he should be banned from future awards shows. <laughs> I agree, <laughs> I totally agree. Yeah, couldn't have said it better. Mm -hmm. oh, be okay. Mm -hmm. To end on a positive note, your favorite color or, or trend or whatever. I think the whole red thing that was going mm -hmm. on was, I mean, I saw a lot of red, which and there's a lot of that in the market, too. So I like that because people will respond to that. The mm -hmm. whole black, black and white graphic mm -hmm. thing. Mm -hmm. I was surprised by all the sparkle. I okay. really was. I loved it. I thought it was But great. I liked it. But I, liked, I was surprised. I liked the trends with men, seeing a lot of navy tuxes, the green tuxes, a lot yeah. of velvet ties and jackets. I thought it was really dynamic. So finally, some, some choices for men there were cool. Good stuff, you guys. Thanks for being here. We always love it. Appreciate love it. it. Yeah, yeah come back anytime.